Hi guys, Smith Clear, welcome to the second round of the AOR GT3 Elite League and today I'm at Donington Park. Now last round at Nürburgring I finished in 6th place, which wasn't bad but could have been better if I had sorted out a pit strategy. And yeah, that really cost me 20 seconds and I believe I could have really got 5th but unfortunately I didn't. But hopefully today I can have a good result, although it is not a track that I like, this one. This is probably one of my worst tracks, probably a track where I do not like it at all especially in these cars very tight made quite a few mistakes last season around this track also had that uh, forklift glitch which cost me about a minute but uh, anyway hopefully things can go better this season but anyway onto the qualifying lap through to turn 7 which is McLean's gear 3 then exiting McLean's up to Coppice which I shift before this board here now and down to gear 3 from 4 then try and get a good exit through to Starkey straight and then preparing for the S's break at the second meter board shift down again to gear 3 uh, take it pretty well but uh, now exiting the S's through to Melbourne Hell Hairpin which is turn 11 shift down between the second and the last board then exiting the hairpin to Goddard's which is turn 12 shift before this board here and then trying to get a good exit and hopefully this could be an improvement on the time but obviously I want to go higher up the grid so let's see as I cross the line and I stay in ninth position 27.8 and again, yeah, another disappointing qualifying. I think in practice I did a 27-0, but, you know, I've got to actually deliver these times to the actual qualifying session, which I don't know why, but I can't seem to get those times, which is a bit disappointing because I could have been probably fourth, but that's just the way it is. Hopefully I can have a good race. As the lights go out, away we go. Better start than Blizzard and I've already jumped into 8th place uh, someone got a not that good start and uh, I had to sort of let off the accelerator because uh, otherwise I'd have probably hit blizzard but uh, it was actually a good start, good launch so hopefully now I can settle down and try and hopefully fight my teammate but obviously gain some positions as well so entering the old hairpin turn 4 car on the left hand side has gone wide shadow demon on the grass so up to 7th and I think Blizzard's going to get past whoever's in 5th place so he's going to stick up the inside and yeah just watching my teammate there make a move as another car's gone on wide which was T6 bullet so up into 6th place get a bit white I get a bit of a oversteer there on the curb out of uh, McLean's I believe it was so heading down the to the S's turn 9 and 10 so take a bit of the curb there as Blizzard gets caught out on the exit of the, chica the chicane so basically up into 5th place now so not bad and following Urban Octane round as uh, Jordan's thinking about making a move but I might have a good run out of the chicane which probably has kept me 5th position for now it all depending on this uh, Goddard's as I did understand I don't know if I forced him off I didn't mean to but uh, Anyway, into still in fifth position, so just trying to now settle down. Hopefully, can keep this position, but as uh, past history has said, round this sort of circuit, I don't really seem to go well. But so I'll get on anyway through the crane of curves to the old hairpin turn four. Not really gained much on a urban octane, but uh, there's a car gone off, genius, and then I clip the curb and go into a half spin. And yeah, very frustrating. I did get a little bit distracted by the car, but obviously that's not his problem. I don't know what, I just took too much curb and uh, it's cost me too many positions. And I let Ellis through, thankfully, he didn't hit me. Um, thank God he didn't hit me because that was a uh, very silly looking back at it now, but uh, yeah. Anyway, lap 4 and behind Diego, Diego gets wide and uh, 
got the inside line but uh, sh shift down at the second meter board break a little bit early and then he just turns it he turns in on me so I have to sort of s turn away and then they get a, tr um, a speed penalty a uh, slowdown penalty which uh, frustrating but he turns in like no one's there so I don't know what he was doing and then lap 8 goes wide and then just turns in on me as you can see there with the contact and you probably gathered that I was getting a bit frustrated with Diego and uh, you know that ain't the end of the uh, incidents with him as uh, you'll see in the mirror in a couple of turns time if you watch the mirror you'll see what happens with him and Ellis so just coming through the crane of curves and obviously I'm not really focusing on this at the minute but then I look in my mirror and then I see contact between them both and I don't know if he clipped Ellis's wheel, uh, rear, rear but uh, sends it both of them off the track and uh, you know a bit unfortunate but uh, Diego's driving I don't think was uh, anything to shout home out home about really with uh, the contact he's made so far anyway Jordan went went on the grass and then I got past Jordan but up into 10th which obviously not uh, very good as I was in fifth place until the half spin and uh, yeah but anyway entering turns 9 and 10 and then I'll try and correct it on the uh, second part of the chicane which loses me a lot of time then Jordan's got the inside line so he, he's just gonna have to just stick up the inside I'll give him as much room as I can obviously I can't really see him but he sticks up the inside and he's got the move done so down to 11th which was a little bit disappointing but on the lap 11 he loses the car on the chicane which this chicane is pretty tricky pr pretty tricky to negotiate you can lose it so easy and then lap 9 I think a car pitted and I'm up into 9th place and a shadow demon made a mistake so I'm up into 8th place now which isn't too bad but just got to try and fend him off as I go into the chicane and then I should have the move done yeah decent chicane and 8th place but obviously want to gain more positions so lap, uh, P6 now in, on lap 29 a few cars have pitted well P7 now as bullet has passed stick to the inside fresher tyres he had boxed I'm not doing a zip oh well I'm not stopping at all I'm going full 40 laps on soft tyres so it'll be interesting to see how I get on lap 36 lizard caught up caught up from about a four second gap so you'll see there was no brake marker board so I lost the braking point and Blizzard got past and yeah down to seventh place and Shadow Demon has caught up right onto the back of me and this should be down to eighth place sooner rather than later because obviously the tyres have worn and he's got a good engine in the Aston Martin I believe he's in the Aston so see as he dives up the inside and uh, yeah get the move done pretty simple so down into eighth place and yeah I was, I was pretty content with eight because I think Troy didn't pit as well so but then the fun and games begin Diego went off the grass went back onto the line I don't know what he was doing and I gotta admit you know the forum post was out of frustration because I had so much contact with the guy and then this was my fault the last two were my fault this one you know he couldn't do jack shit about really uh, I, I was just he, I had a slow down penalty and he couldn't uh, do anything about it but the one where he parked in the middle of the road I don't know what he was doing I really don't know what he was doing and uh, it wasn't the first time I've been a bit frustrated with him nervous and qualifying I was on a lap and he just comes out straight out of the pits and he don't even give way you know I don't know what I don't know really know what's going on with him but then again you'll see in a minute I mean now tires have gone so I break I lose the car and unfortunately again for him you know he makes contact but so frustrating the race because and then he comes across on me I don't know what he's doing there but <laughs> unbelievable bad luck really suppose but to be honest oh, I just don't like this track at all especially as well in the nighttime conditions it's, worth, it's bad in the day but 
in the night it's tenfold tenfold so it's just unbelievable that the bad luck I had but I didn't even finish the race because of the contact I have with Diego but definitely lost eighth place because of the contact but that's unfortunate but you know I mean I get the pen I get a penalty for cutting the corners yet everyone cut the cut, cut the chicane but I'm the one that gets punished but anyway yeah I don't want to be too bitter about it but anyway see you next time for round three and solder hopefully I can have a better result can't get any worse so yeah thanks for watching and goodbye